पॉलिसी बाजार पर एक करोड़ रुपए का टर्म लाइफ इंश्योरेंस केवल चार सौ पचास रूपए महीने से शुरू Rush at Kovalam, one of Kerala's most popular tourist destinations, coming as a big relief for the state's tourism industry. It's the best turnout in four years. After massive floods in 2018 and the COVID-induced lockdown starting 2020, the bulk of the tourists are still domestic. Valentina from Italy has been a regular to Kerala during the year-end festivities, but says this time even she had to think twice. It's my fifth trip to India this year. This year, I think I did it more, yeah, and I think about ten, twenty percent more extra. I know Christmas time more, more expensive. expensive. So currently, ninety-five percentage of our business is domestic guest, that is Indians. So uh, we used to have seventy-five percent European guest before pre-COVID. But then now in this current scenario, since ticket rates have gone really high, we we have really uh, come down in in a overseas guest business. Tour agency says stiff international competition to woo tourists, high airfares to India, and a delay in opening e visas have impacted the flow of international tourists to Kerala. Kerala has seen a 53 percent decline in foreign tourists compared. to pre-covid 2019 in the first 9 months of 2022 while domestic tourists have shown an increase of 6% high prices this holiday season are a big worry too uh, the food charges and uh, the hotel charges for staying is like very much the normal charges were uh, 2000 back in days when i visited 3 years back now it's almost double which is a uh, significant increase The Indian Association of Tour Operators say they have raised their concerns with the government of India. Government of India has not taken enough measures to to the promotion of international tourism. We have taken up this matter with the government of India. India will also follow this aggressive campaign method, uh, you know, in the coming months. For now, the year end seems promising. The camera person is Sri Babu Sneha Koshi for Indie TV.